Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Bricks and Five, where I discuss Lego content in videos of around five minutes. Well, today I am back. I have some more Oswald builds, and I'm kind of excited to share these with you. Uh, something I've been working on for a little bit, and um, something that I kind of got the idea from another YouTube creator, um, a Brick Dreamer. I'll, I'll quickly talk about that here in a moment. Um, but I've made some uh, eight by eight vignettes. Um, so a lot of people ask as I've been building the Oswald army, like, you know, what are you going to do with them? You know, I have a number of them stacked up there. I, I have some in a bag still because I just don't have anywhere to put them. But um, I've tried to come up with some different ways to use the Oswalds. So uh, you, you may not be aware of the history or even, you know, who Oswald is. He was Walt Disney's first character. So I think it's super cool that they added him into the Disney 100 CMF. Um, he had the character uh, for just over a year, um, between September of 1927 and 1928. They produced 27 different cartoons. Um, however, uh, his distributor actually owned the rights to the character and he lost it. And that's when he came out with Mickey Mouse. But anyways, um, in that short time, like I said, they made 27 different cartoons. And so I've had the thought of creating a different 8x8 vignette out of each of those cartoons. So um, quickly, the genesis, as I mentioned, where that came from. Um, so a Brick Dreamer on YouTube, he does these great micro builds and uh, vignettes. And um, he did one that's like this um, Oswald at the theater here. Uh, this was a new cartoon that they came out with uh, last year. You can actually see it if you are on Disney Plus, and I believe it's also on YouTube. Uh, it's just a short one-minute cartoon, but uh, Oswald goes to the theater. And um, so uh, Brick Dreamer, he makes these vignettes, and um, he had taken a scene from that cartoon and made that. And so... Um, I'm not taking any credit for this one. I basically just uh, more or less copied his version. There's, there's some differences just because I don't have all of the pieces. But I think it was, you know, such a great little build and a wonderful use of pieces. I thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. So this uh, one in the middle here is actually the first one I attempted. And I quickly learned it is much harder than it looks to fit all of the detail in here. Um, it's such a small space. And in his videos, he makes these great detailed uh, pieces, just has a lot of great talent for it. But I'm learning and uh, trying to make them, you know, what I can. So my first thought was, I'll take the first cartoon, which was Trolley Trouble. So in that one, Oswald, he is working a trolley. And at the beginning, he takes it and he loads it up with all these kids. Uh, they're, they're little rabbits, and I think there's probably some other animals in there. But he just loads them into the trolley, and then he's riding them around. And they end up having some trouble on the tracks and whatnot. Um, but they end up going up this hill. And then as they're coming down, um, his steering control, I, I assume that's what it is. Anyways, that uh, mechanism comes loose. And that's what we've got here. And so uh, that's where the trouble ensues. So um, I've kind of tried to cre recreate that here. Initially, I actually created the entire trolley and found that I couldn't fit it on an 8x8 plate. So... I ended up switching it to have the tunnel with the trolley coming out, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, you know, I like the telephone poles in the background to, to give it a little more detail, make it a little more interesting. So I think that's turned out well, especially for my first attempt. Uh, really happy with that. Um, and then my second one here is actually the second Oswald cartoon that was released. Uh, this is a cartoon called O Teacher. And in the beginning of the cartoon, when Oswald's going to school, a bully uh, tries to steal his girlfriend, and, and he gets upset. And so he decides he is going to uh, teach the bully a lesson, and he waits for recess when the bully is going to come out, and he's got a brick, and he's going to throw it at him. And um, anyways, the, the bully catches him. Um, but it, I tried to recreate some of the key scenes. There's this drain pipe behind Oswald you can see here. Uh, which plays a key part in the, the short later on. I think it's turned out pretty good. I, um, again, I've, I've learned a lot in building these. Um, hopefully I'll get better. Uh, I'm going to try to build some more. 
Um, some of them will be challenging because, like I said, there was 27 Oswald shorts created. However, I think it's six of them have been lost. So um, over the past, oh, 10 years or so, some of the cartoons that were thought to have been lost have come back. So maybe these will come up, but, you know, maybe I'll just have to go off of the four or eight uh, images that are drawn. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out as, as I get there. But in the meantime, I've, I've got plenty of other things. So the neat thing about these vignettes, you can take them and the way that they're built, you can see they overlap on the uh, one side here and then it, I guess, underlap. I don't know if that's what you do, but you, you just connect those that way. And you can actually build a little connected display here. So as I build more, I can build you know, a, a greater display. So uh, if you've been to a Lego convention, um, you've probably a good chance you've seen this type of setup. Uh, I saw some of these at Brick Slopes, but um, yeah, so there you go. That's my, uh, the start at least, of my Oswald vignettes. So let me know what you think. Have you tried to build these before? Um, you know, maybe you have some tips to make it easier. Um, you know, I, I really thought it would be a lot simpler than it is, and I've come to learn, like I said, that it really does take some talent. So, um, I'm going to try my best to, to get better and see what comes of it. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a few more in the works I've been working on. Uh, so hopefully those, um, I'll be able to share those soon. But uh, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Jason's Bricks in 5. Happy building. <laughs>